what's up guys welcome back to the channel um, today we're gonna try to do the suspension on the dyna on the front end um, and we're also gonna do the brake rotors front and rear so I got new pads front and rear and new rotors front and rear and they're the Galfer waved and slotted rotors still can't believe how much they are <laughs> but you know that's the price for performance I guess so um, let's go check out the parts we got to do the front end and the brakes. So here's a sneak peek at the rotors. And man, these things really do look cool. Um, this is the back one, obviously. The new, um, God, what are they? Super Glides and the Lowrider S's use this perimeter brake rotor where it, where it mounts to the outside of the wheel. So this is the front one. This is the back one. Got new pads front and rear, and the front end suspension stuff from Track or Die. We'll start here with the um, extended dampeners. They're plus two dampeners from Track or Die. And then there's some price on those bad boys. Made in the USA. Then we got the Patriot Genesis springs for the front, stock length. Uh, you do have to cut these to length. There's, it's in the instructions, but we'll show you when we get there. And then we got the Speed Merchant preload adjusters. So let's get the bike on the lift and see if we can get this installed tonight. We got the bike up on the lift, and first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the front, the uh, rear rotor and the rear brakes. Um, so do that, you have to pull the rear wheel. And once again, it's just a giant, this axle is a giant bolt. There's a nut on one side and nut on the other side. You loosen that nut, pull the axle through, get that wheel out of there change that rotor, change those pads, and then we'll move on to the front. got the rear done um, that rotor looks stupid cool on there in my opinion I uh, got the brakes all looped up and next thing we're gonna do is hop onto the front here and the first order of business is to get this fender off there's um, two Allen's on either side and the nuts on the back of this on both sides uh, we'll pull that fender We'll pull this caliper, it's a 10 millimeter bolts, pull that out, and then we'll pop the front wheel off. And then we'll come back and I'll show you a couple tricks for this front end. tubes off of here is to loosen this top nut um, it's, it's really easy to forget that but when you loosen this top nut first 
Um, it's a little easier to unscrew that nut when you get every the tube off of the bike and onto the ground by itself. Um, it's, it's really tough to get it loose uh, without it being locked in the tree. So what you want to do first is loosen both these top nuts. Um, that way you can start the draining process. And there's two bolts that come up here into the dampening rods that are inside. And you need to have the spring pressure on everything before you drain those out. So I uh, believe that guy, you can get these guys at Harbor Freight. It's a 12 mil and goes up in here to loosen it. Um, but you also want to have a catch can here because there's fluid in there. There's like 22, 23, 24 ounces in there. So let's loosen these top nuts, drain this fluid so we can pull each tube out and get them new springs in. All right, my preferred method is to get you a little impact uh, to get these out. They can be tight sometimes. So we'll zip these out and start draining this fluid. step once we get one of the legs off is to unscrew this cap here and that's where all the internals of the leg are now you have a spacer your spring the dampener rod and the bottom out spring below that but you want to be careful with this when you're loosening it up because there's a lot of spring pressure behind here so we're gonna go as easy as we can to see if that not pop really hard on us Tracker die, damper rods, extended damper rods came with uh, really good instructions. Um, as you can see here in the Patriot Springs as well. Um, you do have to transfer a couple things to the longer dampener rods, um, the bottom out spring, and then there's a washer in there. Um, and they want you, Patriot wants you to use these washers between the dampening rod and the spring and then between the spring and the top cap. So that's why there's two sets. But yeah, uh, they come, damper rods come with new copper washers. The only thing you need out of your old stuff is gonna be that bottom out spring and the little bushing that's on the end. You can see this one doesn't have it. This one does, so. We'll start shoving all this back together.
So that's it guys, we got everything installed on the dyno. And she is leaning hard on that kickstand. <laughs> um, I have to get the extended kickstand or the block or anything, but yeah, I hope you learned something on the video. Um, these front ends are super easy to rebuild. And man, it looks super long now. It's crazy. Rotors look good. Um, I'm curious if they actually make a difference or if it's just a looks thing. But we'll see, we'll get some break-in miles on the uh, pads and everything. It says, the Galfer just said go easy for 100 miles, moderate braking. But that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this content. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your buddies, tell your friends. And we'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.